A very good morning to you. And we're continuing this morning in looking at Paul's letter to the church in Philippi chapter 1. And we reached verse 27 where, as we saw yesterday, he had instructed them as followers of the Lord Jesus Christ. Whatever happens, he'd said, conduct yourselves in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ. And he continues, then whether I come and see you or only hear about you in my absence, I will know that you stand firm in one spirit, contending as one man for the faith of the gospel. He, he's, he's concerned for Christ's reputation. And, and so he, he encourages them to live lives that will mean that the reputation that they put out amongst people and whether he hears about it from others or he actually uh, sees them himself. He's, he says, your reputation needs to be something that brings honor to the Lord. And he says, whether I come and see you or only hear about you in my absence, I will know that you stand firm in one spirit. He says that your reputation will be that you stand firm in what you believe in one spirit. And then he says this, contending as one man for the faith of the gospel. Contending as that implies that, that, they, that you, you're going to be as a team contending together, working together as one man. To what end? For the faith of the gospel. And all of us have a, a reputation individually, and we have a reputation as a church. And I wonder, and I don't know, but I wonder what the reputation of our church, United Church, is here in Hermanus. What is our church's reputation? Do people know that we are, we are together in, in contending for the gospel? Um, for the faith of the gospel, what is it that binds us together? Is it a, is it a, a commitment to, to one another? But not just to one another, commitment to supporting one another, encouraging one another, building up one another so that the gospel can go out. Is that what is the, the binding factor in United Church? I want to ask you this morning as you take time out to consider that, to think about it to think about your reputation and to think about our reputation and to ask the Lord that we would be known as people who are together in our commitment to the good news, the good news, the gospel, that Jesus Christ is the risen Lord and through him one can come to know God the Father know him as people who are forgiven and born again, contending as one man for the faith of the gospel.